everyone, Cooch 5 RC. This is Roger, and tonight we've got a quick project I can't take up too much bandwidth tonight. So, on the Traxxas TRX collection, this happens to be the Toyota model, and I just couldn't get away from the orange. Absolutely gorgeous. With the included LED kit, which I've done the LED kit on both my Max and the X Max. The X Max is front and rear, and the Max is um just front but i have the i have the parts to put in the rear so on the trx fours the chassis is the same whether you're running the bronco whether you're running the chevy the toyota um you've got a cool custom body of your own on it whatever it happens to be my interest is i'm not a heavy crawler guy and with the deep paddle treads whether it's snow water sand trees i um i want to be able to traverse in between sections faster so i'm going to the alternate pinion 11 tooth pinion comes stock in your kit in your delivery in your original box or if you're just buying one 16 tooth comes optional included look at the size difference so we're going to get quite a bit more speed out of this. I'm really going to be interested to see how much of a speed difference. Traxxas is not able to let us put the 16 tooth pinion and run the tracks, but that's where we're going. So this is a second two and a half mil bolt that we're taking out of the plate. Stock was on A or B on the left hand side. And it was on the absolute top of the unmarked side. So with the 16 tooth pinion and the stock spur gear, we need to go all the way to H and still get back to those same holes. So here I am on H. I'm not sure if this is the right orientation now or not, but I am really looking forward to getting this pinion in here and just doing a quick table run on how fast the speed difference is I'm really looking forward to this I have absolutely loved working with my DeWalt power screwdriver um, I love the the action of it where you're able to uh, the gyroscopic technology you're able to start off slow go, start off fast Amazing tool left, excuse me, uh, loosen and tighten left and right and the pivotable uh, hand grip. Absolutely love it. Um, works best straight for me most times. So I went ahead, took out the grub screw on the stock 11 pinion, got the 16 set, got our plate half set up here. If I find one more of my bolts. And I believe this is going to be my position over here on the, the blanked off side. It's where it lines up. And that's the point of the alignment system by Traxxas. You just go with the letters they tell you. And you are good to go. It sets your lash. It is like factory racing support out of the box. So I'm hoping with this pinion that I'm avoiding the... Um, motor and ESC upgrade that I have had on my mind since the first time I've run this. Um, I'm not getting good lineup here. Let me see if I actually need to line it up in the cover first. I believe I do. And I believe that could help me. Um, oh, we're pretty lined up there. Let's see if this thing moves. Uh, with the tracks, there is a ton of resistance. So the way that clicked in, I'm pretty positive that we are in a good alignment there. It's holding itself now. So I'm gonna take my twos, my original screws that came out. If you followed any part of the Rustler Ultimate Project, you know every screw I took out of that one I replaced with a stainless on the return. But with the blacked out styling of this TRX, I'm not going stainless on everything. And I spray the heck out of this thing with a water propellant. My favorite is the WD still. 
it's the best for that especially when you know you're gonna get it wet it basically like washes it off too for you it protects treats the the metal and then you wash the excess off by having a good time so I put it on first and after I don't like rusted screws I don't think anybody does but we've all got a few of them and I have exceeded my count on screws I thought I took four out I'm seeing three on the install I know I took four out so that's a fancy issue to have but next I'm gonna go right into the installation of the battery we'll take our TRX4 remote that's how I've identified each one of the uh, not quite identical because you've got I did happen to have the 7030 on my Traxxas Max remote. So he's Amsoil. Proline is the Rustler. X Max is undeniably the X Max. And TRX4, similar. So I'm going to grab a 3S. I run all Traxxas batteries in all of my vehicles. And for this rig, uh, because it's 3S capable, compatible, I run a 3S LiPo. This is a 5,000 milliamp hour, and this is the shorts. And I bought the shorts because I'm really looking forward to the spring or summer and get into a uh, boat. So by land, sea, or air, uh, our seeing has been an incredible, uh, incredible journey, and I'm having a great time, and my daughter has been amazing with it, and my wife helping with videos. So here we go, we're gonna fire it up and see if it crunches or if it moves. We're green, green, green. Everybody always checks their steering first, right? Slow on the throttle. We are having no issues there. That is considerably faster. All right, everyone, thanks for joining me on Cooch 5 RC. This thing is incredible. I can't believe that extra speed we just got out of a few minutes of work. Uh, thanks, everyone, for checking in. Traxxas Cooch 5 RC out.